Hey guys, I encountered a situation last week when I was trying to set up a specific chart at work. So I wanted to walk you through kind of what happened and the solution that I ended up finding. Okay, so I'm using a Superstore data set just to keep things simple. I had a view similar to this. So I had segment as a dimension and then I had another dimension subcategory and then I had something like uh, sum of sales as my measure and I had it as bar chart. And my goal was to first sort them sort of in descending order by sum of sales for each segment. And then I wanted to encode another dimension on color. For the sake of this demo, I'm gonna use discount. Works out well. So first I'm just gonna drag it from measures to dimension so that I can pull it out on the color and kind of show you what it kind of should look like. So here we go, I'm now breaking apart each subcategory into the different discount levels. And in theory, I want to be able to sort this by sum of sales for the subcategory. All right, so let's kind of dive into this. Let me clear the sheet and bring back on those first dimensions. So let's start with segment, subcategory, and some of sales, switch it back to a bar chart. So if you've worked with Tableau for any period of time, you, you recognize that you can't necessarily use the visual sort buttons whenever we have these sort of two dimensions here because what we're actually doing when we sort by the sum of sales in descending order is we are doing that for that overall subcategory we're not taking into consideration segment. And we could validate that by taking segment off the view and see that yes, indeed, phones is the highest subcategory for sum of sales. Breaking it down further doesn't change the order within each of the different segments. So our first step is um, adding a table calculation such that we can rank each of these subcategories sum of sales for the different segments. To do that, I'm gonna simply double click on the row shelf and I'm going to use the index function. It jumps on there as a continuous function. We wanna change that to discrete. And you can see it's already started. So now we are indexing the subcategories by segments. We've started, this is that same sort that we had before and we're going down. We're not restarting every segment. So what we'll need to do is we'll adjust that first. We're gonna to go to specific dimensions. If you're in Tableau 9, that's gonna be the advanced option. And what we wanna do is set the restarting every to segment. Tableau 10 has this automatic sort. I wanna change that to make sure that we're doing our sum of sales in descending order. Okay, and then I'm gonna just move this between segment and subcategory. All right, at this point, we're kind of halfway there. We've got our index. We are ranking our subcategories from the sum of sales descending order for each segment and we're starting over. If we were to visually review this, we would see that, yeah, that makes sense. Next step would be to take that dimension that we're breaking it across by the discount and bringing it back on a color. Now this is where funky stuff starts to happen. So now I've got multiple subcategories competing for that number one rank in the consumer segment. We're still restarting every segment, but things are repeating themselves. So phone shows up as one here, and then it shows up as two. And you can see that these discounts aren't all lining up. There's a lot that's kind of going on under here. Essentially, it's finding the first ranked discount and then kind of bucketing together where it can, and it, it's just not working out for us. So step one is let's uh, look at the table calculation and see what we can do to fix this. And, and this kind of even gives a better picture. Uh, that new feature in Tableau 10 shows table calculations, kind of highlights what's going on. Like This doesn't make any sense. We're say, you know, using that consumer segment, but look, we, we're looking at that 40% discount, and that's the only thing that's kind of highlighted. So let's adjust. You can see that uh, the discount dimension is now available for us to use because we have it on the view, so I'm gonna go ahead and check it. When I check it, you can see that now it has ranked all of the individual color bars, so all those discount sum of sales for each subcategory. And it is in kind of logical order, but we wanted that stacked bar. And the reason why it's doing that is because we've got this at the level deepest. Tableau is trying to find sort of the most granular component of the data, and that's where it's setting this, but that's not what we want. We want it to be at the subcategory level. So we'll switch that. So at this point, we're getting closer, right? We've got our you know, rank here of one to 17. We've got our subcategories listed once and we have our stacked bars, but we're still not in that right logical order that we want. And that's because of how we're doing our custom sort. We're using that sum of sales. Last step would be we need to 
aggregate together our sales. We need to sum it up, but we need to not include the discount dimension in our calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on sales and I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call it sales without discount. And then this is going to be a level of detail expression. I'm going to start with my brace, exclude, discount, and then we're going to sum sales and close it. For those of you not familiar with the level of detail expressions, those are part of Tableau 9 moving forward, and that allows us to specify the granularity with which we set aggregations. Because of exclude, what I'm telling Tableau is to consider all of the dimensions in the view, except for discount, exclude it. And then I want you to sum the sales up. Go ahead and click OK, and there it is on our measures. Last step here is we're gonna edit this table calculation, and instead of using my sales here, we're gonna use sales without discount. And again, it's the sum of it. We get to re-aggregate it because we're using that level of detail expression, which makes it so powerful, again, in descending order. And there you have it. If we were to look at this, we are now ranking by the overall sum of sales for each subcategory with regards to each segment. And we have the discount uh, encoded on color. All right, I hope that helps.